And hello, Triple S back here with some more Stanley Power Standalone, and I finally got what I was trying to get before with the whole restartings and stuff. Here we are in the blue room. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps I have. And welcome to the whiteboard ending. There is something squeaking up a storm outside, and I have no idea what it is. Yep, welcome to the whiteboard ending, right here. Finally got it. Took us a while. I'm thinking you can you can just carry on with the game like this. Yeah, you come to the two doors. So we need to go to the two doors. Actually, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. I'll be showing you why in a little bit, and we'll do another ending. Yet there was not a single person here Hopefully. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. And here should be... Yep, here's another input. And two more left. Uh, right. So next up, we need to restart again. Oh, these open. Well, we know about this one. Over here in the bathroom. Ah. This writing on the wall changes each time. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Those things change every time. You're coming to the bathroom. Right, so we did that one, but... We need to begin the game again! This time we need to go to uh, desk 434. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope. So. 433. Four. Where is four three four? It's not any have I passed it? You know. You know. Oh there it is. God damn it, boy. How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Can't press it. Stanley went it. around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, come on, why can't I press it? What the hell, the game's bugged. I can't press it for some reason. Try again. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He there we go. Was. He hoped very much that it was. Uh, okay. Begin the game again. The last one is right here. Boop. Loading. To a new ending. Welcome, Stanley, to Hev. Apparently, this is heaven. There's buttons upon buttons upon buttons. And chanting. And I honestly don't think these do anything. I don't think anyone's found any combinations that do anything. I think you remember these buttons from maybe the uh, museum escape? Ending. There's a museum part where it showed some buttons. But this is essentially it. Right here. This is it. This is the heaven ending and it just does this forever. So what endings have we done now? We did whiteboard. And we did heaven. So there's still room to do something else. Ha huh. What shall we do? Oh, papers are on the floor again. 
Well, the input's still there. So if I want to go back to heaven, we just go back. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, not there that time. You'll find out why I keep doing that later on. So, uh, let me just check my uh, flow chart over here. What can I do now? I'll do that one, I think. This may push the uh, video maybe over 15 minutes, I'm not sure. When Stanley came to a set oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I go to the... Wait, I go to the door on my... Right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. So you say something different each time when you come in here as well. Right, yes. anyway. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I'm not sure he said to say anything else. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Maybe. I'm a weirdo. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Are you going to say anything else after that? Maybe not. Okay, so where do I go from here? Out here? But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yep. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No way, buddy. Time for another ending. This will probably push me up to 15 minutes, probably. I think it's a long ending, sort of. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, 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 from here. It's um left. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, <laughs> not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? You've got no idea. No, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. From the top. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.
Nope. Going? When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Not my fault. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I don't think it matters any door you take. You all end up leading to the same place, I do believe. If there is any place that they can lead to. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Restarting. We have a black thingy on our screen, which is... I don't understand why. And if you saw a cut then, or a jump or something, it's because I had to, uh, go talk to somebody. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe I have. Nope. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? What have we missed? It's not that picture. One of these pictures changes. If you click it long enough, I'm pretty sure. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. And now... Oh, wait, never oh. mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Restart again. Actually, for all I know, this could take me to 20 minutes. We're already nearly, nearly 15 minutes. It's that black line on the screen. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay, we follow the line. That's a weird plan. Just realized. Okay, we're well, everybody's gonna walk past here, we we'll probably walk right into him. Go through the door, you silly. That person's playing solitaire. Okay, good. Ah! Oh, I can't click it. Ah, 
that one of these doors is supposed to do something? I'm not sure. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation oh, oh, exactly. of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Now the line's going okay. weird. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern. fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Fern cotton! Right here, people. Okay. No. To tell you, it doesn't do anything. I know it doesn't do anything. I said it did for ages. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. Is any of this ringing a bell? This way now. Oh no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Again! I'm pretty sure one of those things is pirate. I couldn't find it then, but I swear one says pirate. Right, let's try again. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh, this direction, eh? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? We're going in a circle. Too wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley... I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Well, follow, following the line again. The line's gone. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Circles! Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, the box. there must be Oops, a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door 
lead us to where we're going. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. The right door. Oh. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight Eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Everything died. Okay, we're definitely over 20 minutes. <laughs> right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. I think we keep going. I think. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single uh -huh. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, okay. So we have finished the confusion engine there. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, because I swear there was something that could happen, but maybe that must be in another ending that I'm getting confused with. Yes, it must be. It must be. Okay, so uh, there we go. That was all those endings, which I can't remember which ones I just... Blummy well did. Uh, there was confusion and and uh, 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 some other stuff. Some other stuff. But anyway, next time we'll be more endings. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.